Hey, good evening or hello again. Welcome to uh, my channel. This is the Coding Coach, of course. I'm glad you decided to join me again. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for supporting, uh, coming, and things like that. So today we're going to do a live chart as well. Uh, I kind of like doing these live charts because it gives you an opportunity uh, to kind of um, follow with me through a chart. And it'll give you an idea of what to look for um, once you start coding. So in my next few videos, what I'll do again is I'll um, start doing again um, the share my screen. So then you guys can also look at it with me uh, instead of just reading along with me. So I think a lot of people need visuals sometimes. So I'll be able to give you a visual and share my screen um, as I read through the chart. So I am going to go through this chart right here and it's set up in eClinical and you, you know, remember I told you guys on a few uh, previous videos that I love eClinical. Um, hopefully listening to these videos um, also get you familiar, like I said, with what to look for, uh, even if you can't actually um, physically see the chart. So I have the current medications listed here. Um, and they take about, they're taking about nine or 10 medications. So I see it listed here. So under their past medical history, I see that they have colon cancer. Um, and it just says thyroid. So if I see it just says thyroid under the past medical history, then that, let, that lets me know that this person has a thyroid disorder. And it's unspecified because they don't say what kind of thyroid disorder. It just says thyroid. So then I'll know to just look for the thyroid disease or thyroid problem unspecified code. Um, this person has bowel problems. It's not specific. Um, and this person also past medical uh, history listed under here has tuberculosis. And remember when you're HCC coding, that if it's past medical history, if it's chronic, make sure you capture that, you capture that code and you're gonna use it and code it and apply if it's a past medical chronic condition. So let's start. So it says here, the reason for the visit is going to be SOB, which we know that shortness of breath. Um, it says thyroid and it says cholesterol. So anytime you see cholesterol as the reason for the visit or as a diagnosis, then that's hyperlipidemia. H-Y-P-E-R-L-I-P-I-D-E-M-I-A. Hyperlipidemia, and that's going to be E78.5. And that's hyperlipidemia unspecified. Now, they have different forms of hyperlipidemia because they have one called mixed hyperlipidemia, and that's going to be E78.2. So, if it just says cholesterol, or hyperlipidemia, then you know it's going to be unspecified and you're going to use the E as an Edward 78.5 code. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the HPI. Remember the HPI stands for the history of the present illness. So this established patient is here to follow up. She complains of loss of appetite, small amount of weight loss. She does have history of colon cancer. Remember when we're coding uh, HCC charts, we're not going to capture cancer unless it's still active. Unless if, if it's active, we're going to code it. We're going to capture it. But if it's not, we're not going to capture that code. So, um, of course, we know cancer can be eliminated or eradicated by medications, chemotherapy, radi uh, radiations, or things like that. So, it says a history of colon cancer, which means that they do not have it anymore. So, we're not going to code the colon cancer. So, it also says uh, she also feels like food is getting stuck when she swallows. Her previous doctor um, was Dr. Um, I'm going to say Dr. Bennett, uh, a GI doctor. She is due for a colonoscopy in 2020. Um, and this chart is from September, so uh, September of 2019. So when you're HCC coding, also you're always going to do the previous year's chart um, charts. So I'm doing all charts this year from 2019. So um, her previous doctor was Dr. Bennett, a GI doctor. She's due for a colonoscopy. It's 2020. No vomiting, no abdominal pain, no diarrhea, no constipation. It says hypothyroidism. 
stable on current medications, no constipation, no diarrhea, no skin changes. So I know that hypothyroidism is E03.9. So I'm gonna go ahead and code both of these. I know I'm gonna use the thyroid disease code because uh, it mentioned it twice in the past medical history and uh, in the HPI. Um, so I'm gonna use that. That's gonna be, uh, excuse me, the past medical history and the reason for the visit, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna code that, which is E07.9. Okay, so then I'm gonna code the hypothyroidism. This is gonna be E03.9. So I got E07.9 and E03.9. So usually if you notice a pattern, a lot of the unspecified codes is gonna be 0.9. Example, um, depression, um, single episode, unspecified, F32.9. Um, heart failure, un unspecified, I50.9. Um, heart disease, unspecified, I51.9. So if you notice, a lot of unspecified codes is going to be uh, the point nine. So there's a lot of little trends or little things like that you can pay attention to kind of help you remember codes too. Okay. So um, under the hypothyroidism, they mentioned the hyperlipidemia, uh, stable on current medications, no muscle aches or cramps. So we know hyperlipidemia is going to be E78.5. So now they have the examination. It says the um, physician did a general exam, alert and oriented. They checked the neck. Everything with the neck is fine. They checked the respiratory system. They checked the heart and they checked the uh, gastro system. So they only checked three systems and did kind of like an overall check, you know, just to look and see where you find. So the assessments, and remember I was telling you the assessments, um, that's where it comes where the doctor says, this is what I found to be wrong. So they got hypothyroidism, unspecified. Remember we said that's E03.9. That's a chronic code, a chronic condition, HCC, or uh, one that risk adjusts to have a risk adjustment score. So I'm gonna use that. So hypolipidemia, E78.5, that's um, a HCC code, I'll use that. Hyperglycemia, so that's gonna be R73.9. Now hyperglycemia does not have a HCC score. Now, let me check just to be sure, but I'm almost certain that it doesn't. And it doesn't. I just checked. So, we're not going to code um, hyperglycemia because it doesn't have a risk adjustment score. So, we won't need to code that. Now, if they had diabetes um, with hyperglycemia, then we will code that. That'll be E11.65. And it's diabetes 2 uh, with hyperglycemia. And also, if you ever see in a chart where it says diabetes, if you ever see if it says diabetes uncontrolled, then the uncontrolled um, is the um, hyperglycemia. It's going to be E11.65. So this person also has a lump in their neck. That's going to be R22.1. That's not a risk adjustment score code, so I won't need to code that. And that's another thing that, like I was telling you guys, that I really love about risk adjustment. If it's not a chronic condition, I don't have to capture it. I don't have to code it. I don't have to record it. So, um, of all the conditions that's listed here so far, I'm only coding two, which is the hypothyroidism unspecified and the hyperlipidemia. So, I'm not coding the hyperglycemia. I'm not coding the lump in the neck because they're not saying the lump is cancer. It's just saying a lump. It doesn't tell me what kind of lump, and it doesn't score. Uh, loss of appetite, that's not a risk adjustment score. And they're telling me their BMI as far as their weight, and it's less than 19. Remember, I told you we're going to record BMIs. If it's 40 or above, then it'll have a risk adjustment score. Also listed on this chart, um, the patient has a surgical history, and it says colon cancer. So it lets me know that the colon cancer was removed by surgery. And that's how I know I'm not going to code the cancer. And that's how I know when it says the history of colon cancer, that the colon cancer is no longer there because under the surgical history, it says they had surgery on their colon to have it removed. 
So the family history is, all, is also here. It says the mother was deceased at 72 years old. The father was deceased from blood pressure issues. He has one brother, three sisters. They're, he they're healthy. And he also has two daughters. Now, he also um, uses alcohol because it says for social history is alcohol use. Also, and I'll do a video about this as well. Uh, also, make sure you understand the difference between alcohol use, alcohol abuse, and alcohol dependence. Um, now, some of those have a, a risk adjustment score and some doesn't. Alcohol use is that you can use alcohol, but because you use alcohol, that doesn't mean you abuse it or it doesn't mean that you're dependent upon it. So make sure you understand the behavior or the substance abuse part of coding because it can be real tricky. And remember, there's a difference between abuse, use, and dependence. So I have that here under the social history and they have their allergies, um, of course, and it said pollen abstracts, they're uh, allergic to pollen. And it says hospitalization or major, excuse me, major diagnostic procedures. It says colon cancer 2012. That further lets me know that this is a this is an old disease. Um, it said tuberculosis in 1974. Tuberculosis doesn't um, code or uh, excuse me doesn't uh, wrap to a risk adjustment score anyway. But it said they had it in 1974. So this concludes the chart. I'll go to the end of the chart. I know you hear my son, he's in there enjoying himself <laughs> with his new toys. Uh, I hope it didn't uh, bother you guys too much. I don't want to uh, close my door because he might need me. So I want to scroll to the end of the chart uh, to make sure I have the signature and it is here. So now all I will have to do is just make sure I include the signature here because on every chart, you're going to make sure that the doctor's signature is on the chart. It makes you uh, aware that the doctor has reviewed it. They agree with everything on this chart. And if the signature is not there, then you just have to uh, notate it in the system that this doctor needs to go back uh, and sign this chart. So I hope you uh, enjoy running through this chart with me. And again, like I said, I'll get to um, go back to share my screen so you guys can follow along with me. I'll just have to scratch out um, you know, the, the information and things like that, so you won't, you guys won't see um, the protected information. But I'll go back to share my screen. But I wanted to also get you guys used to kind of reading through them with me, also. And there are more videos on my channel uh, that also shares the screen and show you what the chart actually looks like. So again, <laughs> so again, thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for um, liking, coming, and subscribing. So I'll see you guys later. Here's Ivan. He wanted to join my video. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining. Bye.